It has come to my attention <laughs> this this summer. <laughs> Have y'all seen these dorm rooms? It's like the dorm rooms of Mississippi. And I would just like to say, I really like them. In fact, I'm like, these people, my children cannot have a nicer dorm room than I have my own bedroom. Darn it. What a random thing to talk about on a Thursday afternoon. Oh, here are my children. They're going to come down here and judge me. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, just, I'm going to let you see, okay? You ready? Okay, this is the dorm room of Mississippi. Look at that. There's a coffee table. There's roses. There's a desk and bookcases. Lamps. There's rugs. Rugs. You know what kind of rugs I had in my dorm room? My mother hauled me over to roses and we got a carpet remnant and it unraveled. Like there was no edging on it. Boards, flowers. Uh, in the beach bag? Where is the beach bag? Maybe in my bedroom. Russell, does anybody at school have bedrooms like this? That looks nice. Yeah, it looks nice. Heck yeah, it looks nice. And then, oh wait, now I'm trying to scroll y'all. And then here's, this one has art. There's art, full-on paintings, art, draperies, Louis Vuitton logo in the corner, an orchid. I mean, okay. Uh, look at this one. This one has chairs, full-on chairs, more art. Well, this one looks good. This one's got Hermes blankets on it. A tiger, this has got Mary Scott Hagler's name all over it. I mean, look at that, look at that tiger rug. This one's got full on furniture, lighting. I mean, there is lighting right there. They're beautiful. I know. Well, I still see concrete walls. <laughs> Not on this one. I mean, look at this. This is evidently Georgia because it says dogs. Look at that comforter. And there's a glass table. I would just like to say, what about when people get really hammered and fall out of their bed? Sheila, that is what my daughter's going to want. I guarantee you. You know what she told me the other day? So-and-so's roommate, they don't share the same aesthetic. Since when is aesthetic like that used in that way? Is aesthetic like style? I thought it was aesthetic was an adverb. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Yeah, we got pillows. We got Hail State. We have a full-on couch in the bedroom. Couch. Now, I will tell you, my son Thomas has a couch. I got it at the Habitat store. It was half off day, so it was $30, not $60. We shoved that thing in the back of our pickup truck, took it up to school. About 10 kids carried it up, and it wedged within an inch under their bed. It's pretty awesome. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is the best one. This was my dorm room. Who's Thomas and Russell? Look, look at these dorm rooms. Aren't they silly? That's what mine's going to look like. That's going to be your dorm room? Yeah. It's too dressy. Okay. There's glass. Mine's looking like that. And mirrors. Yeah, you lived there for four years. Why wouldn't you want a nice one? Well, you, you don't live in a dorm room for four years. You, you live in there for eight months. Yeah, you live in there for a year, and then you keep the same stuff, and you just move it. These look good. You're just jealous because your parents were going to buy something like that for you. <laughs> I'll tell you who else is going to be jealous. <laughs> <laughs> you! I'm not learning sweet. Thomas has the, the sofa from the Habitat store. Look at that. Mom, wear sunglasses. Honey, I don't know. I think those rooms look great, and I think that you shouldn't be judging people based on what their room looks like. I'm about to judge you. Because that's rooms. Ah! Roomsist. R roomsist. Roomsist is kind of like racist. Well, oh, you want that too? But roomsist. You don't want the flat one? No. 
So this is my dorm room. Where do you puke in there, right? Where would you get sick? It's called staging. Okay, I'm gonna show you what's in my room, just for the record. We have a photograph from, you know what this is from? Right here? That is from the Blue Lagoon new movie. It was new in the 90s. We have a drawing I did. We have Salem, that's where I went to school. We have some random things I cut out from magazines. So back then, you looked in a magazine and you cut out pictures. We got Sinead O'Connor. We got Get the Picture, Don't Drink and Drive. So you just cut out a magazine picture. There was no artwork. No, no artwork. We have a Molson beer sign. That was my older brother's. We have a case full of beer, something, something miles to Chicago. We've got a full tank of gas, half pack of cigarettes. It's dark and we're wearing our sunglasses. A Blues Brothers poster. That was a wonderful, wonderful thing. Some families can't afford to do fancy things like this. Um, hello, how about a lot of families? There was no white linen covering the dresser. We have a sink over here because you don't want to cover up the sink. And then you got a clock. You got some coal curlers, you know, the kind that used to wind up. Some people don't drink and puke so they can have nice rooms. Me, 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 me. No, they can't. They're not allowed to. We got some Vaseline, Elmer's glue. We got a double tape deck here. Now this was also part of the time. This is the stereo. Now this is a Christmas that my brother for Christmas got a car, a legitimate car. And do you know what I got? I got a stereo. And you know what I said the other day on my video? I was thrilled for him to get that car because this was back in the day when life wasn't fair and nobody cared. This was just the good old days. Yeah, the most expensive thing about college was college. Cinder blocks, wood were bookshelves, fruit crates. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and then we've got, this is my free Clinique bag. You know, if you bought some Clinique, you got a free makeup bag. That's what I had. Mm-hmm. Oh, I had Smurf sheets, and I still got them upstairs. And then, what else is in here? That might be a hair dryer. A hair dryer. Some Neutrogena brown soap. Could see that mess anywhere. Oh, my mother gave me this, a calendar thing. Every day it gives you a little word of wisdom. And I don't think I can see much else. My bed, I had it lofted, and then underneath I had a hammock. Notice this. Do what you can to make their room feel comfortable. This was very comfortable to me. I love this. Yeah, and we didn't have any air conditioning. There's no air conditioning. No. No air conditioning. You need to go in some of the girls' rooms at EHS. I just can't. Because then I'm going to end up, just wait, in about two more years... Y'all all come over here, and I'm going to be like, here I am. Look at this terrible room I've just funded because I'm terrible. Mm -hmm. Yep. Same way my dad says, you always said, I'm not going to let my children watch television. I'll come in here and see what's happening. Not only do they watch television, one of them has got their own television room. <gasps> Hi. With a sweet tea and some YouTube. Are you feeling okay? No, but he doesn't feel good. And a nice bookcase, but it's not going in a dormitory, is it, Amos? And you shared a bathroom. Yeah, you shared a bathroom. And you stole people's shampoo. And you didn't have any Kevin Murphy enough. No, you had Salon Selectives or Perk Plus. That's all you get. No, and these people out here don't know a lick of difference talked on a landline. Yeah, you laid on the floor. Legitimately, you laid on the floor. This is how I talked on the phone every night of my life. You laid down here. You put your feet up like this. And you just laid here and talked. <laughs> and that's what you did. Yeah, you just laid around. 
and talked on the phone. You talked, and then somebody yanked the cord. Honor, do I seem anxious to you? Yeah, that's all you did. Chitty, chitty, chat, chat. Yes, Amos does not feel well. I went to his open house by myself without him and met his new teacher, who is delightful, and the EC teacher, who was also delightful, the principal, who was my one son's, I think she was the second grade teacher, delightful. So this is the first year in, how many years? So for 12 years, I had a child at the elementary school, 12 years in a row, because Amos started early. So this is the first year I don't have a child at White Oak School. And I had to go over there to visit just because I had to say hi to my peeps. They're so nice. Your daughter's dorm room looks nice. Well, I can tell you what, my children's dorm rooms do not look nice. Anyway, that's all I had to say. Just checking. Just checking in in case you don't have Mississippi dorm room. Just get a Blues Brothers poster. Are you talking about the Ole Miss rooms? Yes, I'm talking about how fancy they are. Yeah, I am. I'll be eating crow soon, too. I'll have a daughter, and she'll have some terrible nice room like that. <laughs> and then y'all can all remind me. <laughs> Subscribers, see you later.